Over the past few years, we have certainly seen a rise in the use of artificial intelligence in all kinds of ways. And with the technologies developing so fast, what's to come in our futures? Well, this guy might know a little bit because he's been studying it. David Pogue is here from CBS Sunday Mornings and is going to kick off the Charlotte Ideas Festival with that very topic. First of all, it is a thrill to have you in our studio. Well, thank you so much. Clearly, you have good TV viewing taste. <laughs> well, I love my Sunday morning is turn on the TV at nine o'clock, have my coffee and watch straight through. And you and I were just talking about how and I don't want to use the word quirky because it's so much better than that. But your <laughs> stories are so you tell them in such a cool, quirky way. And if people are familiar with the show, I mean, where how how what how did your brain work? I, I think it's because I was the last of three children and I never got any attention. <laughs> so I think I spent the rest of my career the class clown, the comedy guy, whatever. I was, a, I was a Broadway conductor for 10 years, so I've always been sort of a show off. Well, we are glad for it because <laughs> you make us understand these really hefty topics in really relatable ways. And I know AI is something that you've been focused on paying attention to, trying to explain to all of us for yeah. a long time. Um, even in this short amount of time that you've been covering it, where have you seen AI go? Oh man, I mean, yeah. AI has been studied for 50 years, but last year was like, year one. Yeah. I mean, chat GPT and all the art and the now video generation, you can say, you know, give me a scene of an anthropomorphic banjo walking down Times Square and then watch the video. Right. Yeah. I give it a year before you can do that for a whole movie. Like, what movie shall we watch tonight? How about uh, an animated heist movie about, you know, diamond toothbrushes, you know, and then watch it. Does that excite you or scare you or a little bit of both? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm deliberately not going to answer that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no one has any idea, but I, I have enough history to know that anytime there's something new in technology, the first wave is terror. Yeah. And I mean, we chuckle that people used to be afraid of elevators and the telephone and the steam train. Steam trains freaked people out, said it would make you go crazy. And if you were a woman, I'm not making this up, this is medical journals, no human being had ever gone 50 miles an hour before. So they said, if you were a woman, be careful of those steam trains because your uterus could fall out. Really? That was written up, yeah. <laughs> so everybody's all, you know, now we chuckle, but our grandkids might yeah. chuckle about our fear of AI too. We just don't know. Uh, so you're, I have a minute left. You know how TV works, so we gotta fit it in. Um, is this talk that you're gonna give, really what are you gonna focus on? What, what's, what's important for you to bring to this audience? Uh, I'm going to demonstrate live some of the latest things that have come along. And I'm talking about like yesterday, mm. like this week. And then comes the big question is, are we heading to a dystopian nightmare or a new creative renaissance? And I'm going to help the audience decide for themselves. So you're not going to answer that for us because I just really need someone to answer it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, before you get all freaked out and afraid, remember yes. that the pushback legislation, lawsuits has only just begun. Yeah. So I feel like there will be guardrails. And my uterus is still intact. So far. <laughs> Thank you, David, for coming to see us. Let's put all the information up for the event in case anybody is free and able to go. The post AI, post robot world, life in 2050. It is tonight at the Dubois Center at UNC Charlotte Center City. Good to see you. Six o'clock, right? Uh, that's yeah. the cocktail and dinner and then the talks at 730. Okay. Go someplace good for dinner, too, <laughs> like while you're here in town. Okay. We'll give you some recommendations.